The old um, strategy would be something called step care. You started a simple agent and then you build up as they fail more and more agents. The newer, the, the newer strategy is called stratified care. And what you do is you look at the severity of the pain, the disability induced by the pain, the associated features, and then as all those increase, you're more likely to start with what we call a migraine-specific agent, like one of the newer agents, the triptans. It's meant that there are significantly more satisfied patients is what it meant and they're getting we're getting the treatment right more often than not the first time rather than trial and error trial and error weeks months years of, of wasted time and, and missed opportunity lack of knowledge that that there are people who treat migraine and other headache disorders um, it's it's the status quo since migraine has a genetic predisposition and it runs in families they've seen family members before them suffer in silence and they a lot of them just think there's there's nothing that can be done a headache subspecialty practice offers a a cohesive treatment plan so we have not only the neurologists and the headache experts we have infusion centers so we don't they don't if they miss um, they don't have to miss work and go to the emergency department. We can treat them in the office and get them back on their feet quickly. We have psychologists and psychiatrists and biofeedback um, and, and stress management uh, technicians that can help them. So it's not just a cookie cutter approach. We can individualize the approach for, for, for everybody who has a headache. We treat at the, at the Headache Institute people from adolescence on up to their 80s or 90s. The good news is that typically by age 55, 60, migraines tend to disappear anyway. But there are specific strategies that you're going to use for children and adolescents. There, there are other strategies you're going to use for women who are pregnant, contemplating pregnancy, just giving birth and are breastfeeding. So you have to know the different agents that can be used safely in all, in all those situations. There's no cure for migraine. So when we talk about prevention, there's, there are a number of, of options that are available. Unfortunately, there's not been in the last 50 years an agent that's been designed specifically for migraine until now. So all the agents we use are sort of cobbled together because we found them working for other conditions. And when patients went on them for other conditions, their, their headaches and their migraines got better. There's this new class of drug that we're talking about at this, at this meeting significantly that is a boon to, hopefully, to the prevention of migraine. There are antibodies targeted to CGRP, calcitonin gene-related peptide, which is a neurotransmitter that is intricately involved in the pathogenesis of migraine. Well, we got two, two to three years before it even hits the market. It's still in, in studies, but there are four companies working on it, and all four companies have almost identical um, success rates. So it seems it's going to be a pretty promising avenue for, for many of our patients who have yet to find um, success in treatment. It's this hope followed by dashed hope. So many of the agents that we had over the last few years didn't make it to market because of side effect profiles or liver toxicities, etc. Th these, there are now four companies working on them. We've been seeing studies for the last two years and there are no markers of any worry. So it's, it's pretty promising. We've, we're finally uh, have our hope levels up where they need to be. What we're hoping for as we go along, we're about, we've just launched from the American, um, fr from the American Headache Society a registry and we're going to be rolling it out to all the centers that have fellowships. So Mount Sinai is one of them that's, that's due to come on board shortly, where we're going to be able to enter similar data for everybody, as well as a biorepository, where we take saliva samples and blood samples, and we're going to be able, down the pike, to individualize migraine care. We'll know if your headache responds to this kind of medication, or you have a family member that responded to that, we'll know right off the bat, hopefully, which is the agent to go to, to so we can eliminate the trial and error and get you back on your feet and make you much happier and more productive.